All right, um, what I want to do is I'm just going to go through some of these problems. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. I decided not to make a module of this because um, rightfully so, you're really not going to be doing too much of this. I mean, it's important for you to understand how to kind of go both ways um, as far as taking an algebraic sentence and writing it as an algebraic expression. But we don't really use too often that taking an algebraic expression and then writing it as your sentence. But it is important for you to understand. So I did want to at least go through a couple of them and just, real, and just show you kind of how you can do it a couple different ways. So here I have q plus 5. Well, we could say that that could be the sum. And I'm not going to write these down. So if you just want to listen to them and write them down if you need them, uh, that'd be helpful. But pretty much all I'm going to use is I'm going to use my keywords of um, keywords of my operations. So this could be q plus 5. I could write the sum of q and 5. I could write 5 more than q. I could say um, q increased by 5. And there's, you know, maybe a couple other ways we can look at addition, but that's pretty much all you're doing is just using different ways to say that. Same thing here. I could say um, 62 increased by, it's not 8, or it's not t, but it's increased by what is happening between 8 and t. Since 8 and t are being multiplied, you could say 62 increased by the multiplication of 8 and t, or the product of 8 and t. So you could say um, the product of 8 and t more than 62. Or you could say the sum of 62 and the pro, or yes, the sum of 62 and the, and the product of 8 and t. Uh, here we're using subtraction. So I could say uh, the difference of 3 and the quotient 2 divided by d. You could say uh, 3 minus 2 divided by d. Or you could say um, 3 less than 2 divided by d. So there's a lot of different ways we kind of, you know, you can work on this. Um, I forgot, 3 fourths of x. Here we could write this as 3 fourths of x, or you could say 3 fourths times x, right? So there's a lot, there's a couple different ways. You don't need to get strung up on, oh, you have to do it this way, or you have to use these words. You just got to make sure, and actually there's even another one I should make sure that I go through is you know here you just got to make sure whatever you're saying is going to make sense so here I'm going to say two times not x or negative two you're going to write two times the difference of x minus two okay because you're not subtracting the two times um, just one of those you got to subtract it by the difference of x minus two so just either way just use your certain words and just kind of work through it you know left and right to help you write them out